Hello, welcome to the News Broadcast Daily and following today's top stories. Prime Minister Win Tanzun left for the 21st ASEAN Summit in Cambodia. Da Nang has been selected as an APAC city for a low carbon model town project. Japanese film festival themed Comedy 2012 opened in Phan Thiet City. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dung on November 7th left Hanoi for the 21st ASEAN Summit and related summits hosted by Cambodia. At the ASEAN Summit, regional leaders are expected to sign the Phnom Penh Declaration and adopt the ASEAN Human Rights Declaration and several important documents regulating ASEAN cooperation. In the spirit of activeness, proactiveness and responsibility, the Vietnamese delegation will continue promoting results achieved together with ASEAN countries and the ASEAN Chair, Cambodia. This will help consolidate ASEAN solidarity and central role, contributing to building a united and strong ASEAN, as well as fostering peace, security, stability, cooperation and development in the region and improving Vietnam's bilateral relations with partners. On the same day, the ASEAN ministerial meeting opened in Phnom Penh in preparation of the 21st ASEAN summit. Foreign Minister Nam Binh Minh led a Vietnamese delegation to the event. Deputy Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phúc met with Acting General Director of the Khaosan Pathelao, Sothon Khanthavong, in Hanoi on November 16. He praised the cooperation outcomes between the Khaosan Pathelao, known as the KPL, and the Vietnam new agencies over the past time. Phúc suggested that the two sides continue cooperating and supporting each other to improve the quality of information and photographs and intensify experience exchange in personnel training and facility construction. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed hope that in the time to come, the two news agencies will continue speeding up information cooperation and introduce Vietnam Laos special relations and cooperation activities in economics and trade and culture for the people of the two countries and the world over. Han Thavong said that the two sides have signed many cooperation agreements and protocols which demonstrate their close relationship and contribute to raising information sharing between the two national news agencies. He said that KPL helps for Vietnamese support with a focus on educating younger generations on the Vietnam Laos friendship. Earlier, the KPL's delegation held talks with the Vienna delegation, led by General Director Nguyen Đức Lợi. The two sides reviewed the implementation of bilateral cooperation projects within the framework of the Professional Cooperation Protocol for the 2011-2015 period. They agreed to continue cooperating comprehensively and support each other in exchanging publications and improving the quality of news and photographs. VNA will help the Lao News Agency publish its own pictorial and send technicians to Laos to help the KPL shoot and edit film. Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia have signed the minutes of bilateral ministerial level cooperation on drug prevention for 2013. The minutes were signed in Hanoi on November 16th during the 12th trilateral ministerial meeting on drug control cooperation. After the signing ceremony, delegates adopted a joint statement and organized a press briefing on the outcomes of the meeting. Participants voiced their concern on the complicated developments in the regional drug crime, saying that it is a long-term battle with many difficulties and challenges that requires concerned parties' continued efforts and strengthened cooperation. The meeting agreed that cross-border drug prevention cooperation between Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia has increased, helping maintain political stability and contain cross-border drug offenses. The next trilateral ministerial's meeting on drug control cooperation will be held in Cambodia, said organizers. A free trade agreement between Vietnam and the Russia, Kazakhstan, Belarus Customs Alliance is expected to bring many opportunities to Vietnamese businesses, especially in exports. The information was released at the seminar in Hanoi on November 16. The Commonwealth of Independent States encompasses 11 member countries with a total population of more than 300 million, of which Russia is a gateway for Vietnamese firms to penetrate this market. 
According to Russia's trade counselor in Vietnam, Maxim Golikov, the Russian trade representative agency in Vietnam is willing to provide consultation to Vietnamese businesses, introduce potential projects in Russia and the SNG. He suggested Vietnamese firms familiarize themselves with Russian laws and analyze information on the Russian market available from the Ministry of Industry and Trade, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Vietnamese trade representative agencies in the country. Two-way trade turnover between Vietnam and Russia reached two billion U.S. dollars in 2011 and is expected to hit 3.7 billion U.S. dollars this year and 7 billion U.S. dollars by 2015. Da Nang has been selected as an apex city for a low-carbon model town project. The decision was announced at the recent 44th APEC Energy meeting in Washington D.C. According to head of the Ministry of Industry and Trade's International Cooperation Department, Pham Thanh Tung, the APEC project will create up to 20 low-carbon model cities using energy-efficient technologies, including smart grids and renewable power generation. The central city of Da Nang has proposed four low-carbon model projects, including battery-powered bicycles, technologies to curve greenhouse gas emissions, and to use renewable energy sources, a metro system, and rapid bus chances. The Municipal Department of Natural Resources and Environment said Da Nang had already cut 12,000 tons of carbon emissions through a pilot project and saved 12 billion Vietnamese dong, or 470,000 U.S. dollars. The city has approved a second phase of the project to run to 2015 and is set to build as a green city by 2020. The central province of Bình Thuận is leading the nation in investment in wind power projects. The province aims to reach a total installed capacity of 700 megawatts by 2020 with nearly 1,500 kilowatt hours of total equivalent wind power output. Currently, 16 wind power projects have been approved in Binh Thuận with a total 1,300 megawatt registered output. Most of the projects have progressed as scheduled. The Thuy Phong 1 project is now fully operational and becomes the first wind farm connected to the national grid. Another project on Phu Hui Island is generating power since August. By 2030, total accumulated installed capacity is expected to reach 2,500 megawatts, equal to 5,400 kilowatt hours of total wind power output. Over 1,100 monks nuns and local and overseas dignitaries are expected to gather in Hanoi from November 21st to 24th for the 7th Congress of the Vietnam Buddhist Shangha. Most Venerable Thich Thiet Nguyen, Vice Chairman and General Secretary of Sangha's Executive Council, told a press conference in Hanoi on November 16th that among the participants will be 20 from China, Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, Sri Lanka and Myanmar. The Congress will focus on strengthening and developing the Sangha, training novitiates and preserving and promoting Buddhist culture within the national identity, he said. The Congress will elect 199 members and 52 alternates of the Executive Council, 60 members to the Council Steering Committee and 90 members to the Dharma Patronage Council. A Japanese film festival-themed comedy 2012 opened in Fantia City, center of Bing Thuận Province, on November 16th. The event was co-organized by the Japanese Consulate General in Ho Chi Minh City and the Japan Country Exchange Center in Vietnam. This year's festival will entertain local film lovers with eight humorous films, including A Good Husband, The Chef of South Polar, Summer Days with Ku, Hush, Double Trouble, Permanent Nabara, Mind Game, and Cannonball Wedlock. All the films are dubbed into Vietnamese with English subtitles. This year we are bringing comedy to a Vietnamese audience. It is an opportunity for us to introduce Japanese culture as well as the quality of Japanese films to local residents and tourists in Phan Thiet City. The festival, running until November 18, is the second in a series of three Japanese film screening programs in Vietnam this year. The first took place in Hanoi from October 25 to November 4, and the third is expected to hit HGM City Theatre from November 24 to December 1. And this is the end of our news today. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.